Okay, so this is stage two of that orthographic projection. Now, now we're going to come in and just darken up so we can actually figure out what is going on here. And at the moment, I'm not going to put any kind of windows or stuff in. I'm just doing the um, basic outline now. So you begin to see what where the actual object is. Okay. One thing we might, might want to consider is the foundations. Has your building got a foundation? Is it piles? Is it concrete? And if so, that will have to be included. And is the roof going to have an overhang? Um, sometimes people want to have them butted up right along there. But if you want it to have a bit of an overhang, you might bring it out. So I'm just going to show you what an overhang could look like a little bit. And you can decide what you want. Okay, so remember any time you've got something down there, it's going to relate to up here. So that's going to come up here. When you do it as a, as a roof overhang here, we're going to do a dotted line. Okay, so and we're going to come in here do this roof. And I should have measured that to make it the same. I haven't, so you'll do that because you're so awesome. Okay, I'm going to put that foundation in. I'm going to just guesstimate it, but you're going to know exactly what your measurement should be. That's going to be my foundation there. Or my yeah concrete pad whatever it's going to be okay so we need this line as well here so it's going to be yeah and that there'll be a line there as well I don't know whether that should be dotted or not we'll just make it dotted at the moment okay and then up here this is going to be our building. This bit here. Sorry, it's a bit tricky. Hopefully, I'm not in your way. And now we don't think that. I'll rub that out. It's getting a bit carried away there. Okay, so these are the walls of the house. This one will become a dotted line, which is where the roof overhang is going to come, and there'll be other ones here too. So we're going to actually have an overhang on our roof. So we can put those, those lines in there. We've got stuff all over the place here. Okay. It's going to be my roof. And you can see the house is just starting to appear out of the chaos of all these lines or the container glamping site should I say okay so um, we're not going to do it like it's inside now we're, we're trying to figure out what's going down here so this is going to be from the side we're going to see these lines here hopefully my big head's not in the way of the camera And we're going to to figure out where the um, roof overhang is. We use where this comes to here, and we can project down from that. Okay, that's why this type of drawing is so awesome. And the same here, where the overhang comes to here, then we know that's where it comes down to. So, you can see that something a bit funky is happening. I've probably made that one too fat up there. But you get the idea. I'm rushing so that this video isn't mega long and bores you to tears. Okay, so, just going to 
quickly whip in these parts here. Right, and then once you've got all this basic stuff, then you can start adding your windows, etc. off your floor plan or your exterior. You'll have all the measurements there. Okay, and then the only other thing you're going to be adding is your VP. So that can go here, or I've seen it here as well. So we're going to add VP, VP1. You might have HP for horizontal plane up there. And you'll label your drawings, but do all your other stuff first and then move on to that. Hopefully that's helped you. We'll come back and show you how to do one of those symbols later.